that's the uh, end of our announcements, and uh, we do have a slide. Uh, as you would know, there are a number of people heading out, not just from our church, but from churches in the Central West and a few other places around the globe. They're going to be heading on a tour of Jordan and Israel, and I've invited the team to join me out the front this morning so that we might hear a little bit about their plans and pray for them before they leave. So if you're part of the Israel-Jordan team, let me invite you to come up the front. Look, look at them all avoiding the microphone. Isn't that clever? Now, we are, we're missing Rob as well, yes. aren't we? Yep. yep. So, asleep. Rob's asleep. Yeah, yeah. that sounds about right. <laughs> oh, okay. There, there was a valid excuse for him being asleep. Right, yeah. um, so, th this is our team, and then there's a, a bunch of people going from Molong and some other Baptist churches as, as well as various other places. Uh, but let me ask, and I'm not sure who's answering these, but <laughs> what have the preparations been for the trip? What's it been like? You said you were going to go Number four. Okay. <laughs> Glenn, how's your preparations? Uh, pre preparations uh, hasn't started really much yet. <laughs> but we've probably introduced Steve uh, has run us through uh, for a, well, a few months now um, our journey and what's actually happened. We went through the Bible in sections and virtually the track that we'll be travelling. Uh, I'll probably missed a fair bit of it, so I probably can't talk too much on that. But preparation-wise. I uh, keep telling myself, do not worry about tomorrow, because today is enough worries of its own. So <laughs> <laughs> I've just been a bit busy and other things have been happening, but uh, looking forward to the, uh, the trip very much so, yeah. So you start worrying Thursday morning, is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. Um, so a question for the group. What place or site on the trip are you most looking forward to seeing? What's, what's exciting you? Yeah, I'll uh, head up this one. Um, obviously, every place we go to, um, but the most I'm personally looking forward to is the Jerusalem Mount of Olives Gethsemane area. Um, really hope, because uh, we'll be walking, I believe, from Jerusalem down the Kidron Valley up the Mount of Olives to the Garden of Gethsemane, and really hoping that we have the time just to sit. And I want to go back to John's Gospel and just read John 14 through to the end and think of my saviour in that location yep. praying for me yep. yeah no, that sounds like it'll be Anyone else? a good one yeah. so i'm really excited too to go to gethsemane um we watched a dvd the other night at andrews and you know jesus wept tears of blood in gethsemane and just to be there and to touch the ground and just to sit still and just let God be, you know, just be present, um, I think is just my, uh, amazing. I think will be amazing. Um, I can't um, believe really that he, he did that for us, like for me. Um, he was in excruciating pain to cry tears of blood. So um, also just walk in the cobbled streets in Jerusalem where he walked and carried his cross. Um, it's pretty significant, I think. I'm really looking forward to walking where Jesus walked, um, just to yeah, step where he stepped. Um, like in things like um, where he performed miracles in the Sea of Galilee, like with the um, disciples. Yeah, that's probably what I'm really looking forward to. The storms on the Sea of Galilee. You want to you want to experience a storm, Rusty? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no. no, that's great. I'm sure there'll be, yeah, there'll be more more exciting places and sites than you'll be able to comprehend. I'm sure. Uh, now, one of you who doesn't like public speaking, so I won't name her, um, <laughs> was chatting to me the other day about some journals that Steve has prepared for this trip. So, would someone, anyone? care to comment about the journals that have been prepared for this trip? Joe? No? <laughs> Joey, do you want? No? Alright, so yeah, Steve, um, as Glenn's already mentioned, Steve uh, Leesk is basically put this trip together. Um, he's been over there before, came back uh, with some of his own thoughts of how he could run a trip. And so he's put this together and as Glenn mentioned, part of what he's done in our preparations is to go back through the Bible in a biblical history series. If anybody wants to watch that, just go to the 
uh, Molong District Baptist Church YouTube. Um, they're all there. There's 10 of them. Uh, that go, it starts from Genesis, ends in the book of Acts. Um, so anybody can go and watch those, and I really encourage you to do that. It's very informative. But part of all that, Steve has put together a journal uh, that we'll be receiving when we get to Sydney Airport on Thursday. Um, and that journal is 120 pages. It has every location where we're going. It's leather bound um, and gives um, a detailed uh, explanation of all the places we're going to, all the biblical uh, events that happen at those locations and then opportunity for us to uh, write, to add pictures. We can put photos in there later on and uh, just personalise that as um, our memory of this trip. And this would be a tool that we can have for the rest of our life um, going forward as well. Not just an experience of the event at the time, but this will be with us forever. So, yeah. yeah, that's a, a great thing that Steve's done for us all. Great. And the final question I have, how are you hoping that this trip will impact your relationship with God? Um, I've always understood things not very well. When I read something, I don't quite get it. But to actually physically see something broken or how something works, that's, uh, that's how I work, my brain works. So to actually physically see... That's where Jesus was. Now I understand it. Read it in the Bible and to comprehend and um, that will be good for me. I think yeah. really good. Um, I, I find in the last few weeks just talking to people, they go, I'm off to Israel and Jordan. They go, what? What are you going there for? Um, and it's been a great opportunity to just share. Yeah. And that's how I've shared it too. Yeah. So I've, I've said I've read about it, but I want to physically go and see it. Yeah. Cool. I'm hoping to reconnect with God. The last three months have been really hard for me and this year was, it was so unexpected. Um, had the excitement of going to Jerusalem and other good things and anyway, three months ago, our whole world fell apart and I'm a bit numb. So I really, um, really would like to meet God on the mountaintop in, in, you know, in Israel and just reconnect with him and... Just like it says in um, Psalm 23, you know, he, he is our shepherd. He makes us lie down in green pastures and he leads us beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. And that's what I want. I want to get back to that where I can trust him. I do trust him. I do love him. But I want to get back to that where I, um, I'm not numb anymore. So I'm really hoping that I have that encounter with Jesus and God. Yep. And um, I'll just add to also what Glenn has said, uh, just to be able to physically put a location um, together, have the understanding of where the various locations are within the land and what happened, but to see the actual topography and the, the geography, um, it is very significant in our scriptures. Um, and so it'd be great to be able to put that picture uh, through the words that we have and, and through that I trust and I'm praying that um, I'll be better equipped uh, for the teaching and the preaching of God's word and for the edification of his saints um, and also as a Bible witness, as a, a witness to the unbelievers, having seen firsthand the evidence that the Bible is true, um, be able to bring that into our witness to unbelievers, I think will be hopefully um, fill me with boldness. Yeah. Excellent. All right. Well, thank you all. I'll get you guys to take your seats again. We're going to come to our time of prayer and you will certainly be included in that prayer.